The game improves everything about the original. The parkour feels amazing. It's challenging, intense, really smooth. It makes traveling so fun. The more you progress, the better it gets. It gives you more and more options. The parkour in Dying Light 1 was great, but this one feels so smooth, so much better. I feel the same satisfaction as web slinging in Spider-Man games. Chaining moves one after the other, flowing, jumping from roof to roof. It's how I imagine a first-person Assassin's Creed game would feel. The game is perfectly built around parkour. The combat takes that into account. The music changes depending on how fast are you going, how intense is your flow. If you jump, the music gets lighter. You land, it comes again in full power. You have to try it by yourself. Seeing it on a video doesn't make it justice. Not only has the parkour improved, but the exploration aspect of the game is better. Now, there's more incentive to go out, more things to find, interesting dynamic events, diverse loot, from crafting materials to weapons and equipment. In Dying Light 1, there was no armor system. You just chose an outfit. That's it. No stats. You couldn't even mix and match clothing. Now, there's actual equipment, clothing, each one giving different bonuses, so you can specialize your character in a certain build. For example, a tank build, an archer build, a parkour build, and more. It's something that I think fits the game perfectly. You can find some chests that act like skill points, but they're inside dark infected zones. Which brings me to my next point. The infected now hide during the day, mostly. So it's not a good idea to enter any building when the sun is out, but when the night comes, they all roam the streets. This makes the game really dynamic and makes the nights even scarier when you go out, but really useful if you want to get the best loot. In addition, Dying Light 2 now has a proper stealth system. When you enter a building with zombies, you can now use stealth and try not to wake them maybe even take them down one by one. The system is simple, but it works. It's a really welcomed addition. On top of all of this, the world itself looks absolutely gorgeous, not only because of the graphical fidelity, but the art. Everywhere you look, it's like a painting. I want to stop just to contemplate the view. The level of detail in the interiors, the NPCs, the interactions, it feels so alive. The ambience in this game is beautiful. Just running through the rooftops, seeing all the vegetation, people are on the campfire, some singing, some just chilling. You can see the love behind the game. The story in the first Dying Light was okay for me personally, but in Dying Light 2, I'm really liking it. I'm interested in the characters. It even has some nice twists and turns that keep you on your toes. The new dialogue system, making choices, was a really good addition. I'm looking forward to seeing the different outcomes depending on my decisions. The voice acting in this game is great. Jonah Scott, the voice actor for the main character, did a phenomenal job. I never wanted to become a pilgrim. I just sort of fell into it. You can feel how hard it is to actually fight. You hear him out of breath. You can hear him cheering when he makes a difficult jump. Right on. All right, that was cool. I absolutely loved it. Now, on the negative side. I think the game starts a bit too slow. That may turn off some people. I really recommend trying to stick with it because it's really worth it. Also, at the start, the parkour feels a bit too simple and boring, to be honest. But as you start gaining new skills and mastering the system step by step, it feels incredible. One more thing, the combat may feel a bit too bullet spongy. I'm playing on the hardest difficulty and had to turn it down to normal in some parts because the enemies had too much HP. I understand why they made this. Dying Light 2 is much more of an RPG than ever before. You need to get better weapons with better stats, but it's really weird when I send a human enemy flying across the street and he gets back up like nothing happened. By the way, I still have to try the co-op mode, but soon I'll get into it. I'm really looking forward to that. If you're interested in seeing some of it, let me know. 
I hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you for watching.